Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's me, LSP, and it's time to update that old way lost vlog. It's time to update my old way lost vlog. How deep can I take it, huh? So, yeah, um, wasn't gonna make an update this week, except for the fact that I did, y'all. I hit it. I hit that old 50 pounds before Christmas. I was like, what? You know, I wasn't gonna get the scales out, but I got the scale out and just weighed in and was pleasantly surprised to see that old 227. 227, call me Sandra, call me Mary Jenkins, all right? Call me Sandra. So, y'all hit that old 227, y'all. That's that's the update. Um, Ate well over Christmas, didn't really. I just didn't overdo it. And you just can't overdo it. It just, I mean, the food tastes good. I knew it was good, and I wanted more. But um, what I did, like, for Christmas, for Christmas dinner, instead of sitting down and eating, I actually took my three... Took three of my things that um three of my bowls that I use for meal prep. I took those three with me and I put all my food in those and I actually had two servings. I had one. I don't think I ate until Chris the day after Christmas and then uh, possibly that night. But I ate a lot of ham. I enjoyed it. I didn't tell myself no. It's just like I, my body has learned I, I don't want that. So that was cool, y'all. That was Christmas break. That was Christmas break. That is your update. Um. Next week, I hope, I hope, fingers crossed. I always said that once I got to 50 pounds, once I lost 50 pounds, I would actually publish the video that um, tells exactly how I lost these 50 pounds. So, look for that next week, y'all. Um, how was your Christmas journey? Did you do okay? I hope you didn't gain too much weight during Christmas. And if you did, guess what? It's a new day. Let that go. One thing I've learned is beating myself up doesn't help. It just makes me angrier at myself, and it just makes me want to eat. Because the first thing I do when, you know, that's what I do. I'm conditioned to know that if I'm sad, if I'm angry, if I'm bored, then I got to go eat because I'm an emotional eater. I find a way to eat. So I'm, you know, just being focused on that and knowing that it's going on, you know. The, the biggest problem, I mean the biggest problem, the easiest solution to me, is to just be aware you know be aware be aware of everything that's going on around you be aware of your be aware of your surroundings you know and adapt oh here comes an ambulance i hope everybody's okay so anywho i am headed to the titan stadium tonight um go watch some of those videos um let's uh let's ride to nissan stadium the last one was pretty good the live ones eh, they're not that great but just go give them a like anyway <laughs> but yeah the um the one from last week is good and then i also have video for you all that is um backstage backstage at the titans uh stadium and when i go to work my game so i'll prob probably publish that next week let's fingers crossed fingers crossed let's go tennessee titans how about them titans baby we're going to we're going to the playoffs for the first time in a very long time. Many days, my sister and I have had to sit there like heads hung down, just almost in tears. Her husband, he had never even seen us get to be excited about the Titans, right? He was like, y'all can smile? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kicked it. So let's go, Titans. It's almost as if I have a bet. It's almost as if I have a bet on this whole game because if they win, I get to go to work again next week. So it's all the more reason. Cheer for the Titans. Let's go, Titans. Let's go. All right, y'all. That's it. I'm going to go home, take a break, and then I'm going back to work because I'm at old Jamaican. I'm working like a Jamaican mom. All right, y'all. I'm good. Take care of yourselves and do well on your journey and don't beat yourself up. As always, no fear and no regrets. You're awesome.